Hey everyone, this is Kevin from the chesswebsite.com, and today we're going to be looking at a nice little gambit called the Smith Moore Gambit. And if you're not too familiar with it, it's a gambit from white against the black defense, the Sicilian defense. And if you've played chess for any amount of time and you play e4 like I do, you run into the Sicilian quite a bit. And if you're like me, playing the Sicilian is pretty frustrating. I actually prefer a move like e4 or even the French defense e6. I really don't like playing the Sicilian defense. And so I started playing the Smith Moore Gambit quite frequently now because I feel like it gives white a lot of aggressive lines to play and at the same time it's going to take black completely out of any Sicilian defense lines that they've thought about trying against you. So let's go ahead and start out. It starts out with e4 from white and black responds c5 and this is the Sicilian defense and from here white's going to play d4 and after black captures on d4 White's now going to offer up a, another pawn on c3. And after black captures on c3, then white's going to recapture with his knight on c3. And as you can see here, this is the Smithmore Gambit. We've given up two pawns, and black's given up one pawn. But as you can see, we already have center control with our pawn. At the same time, we have a nice knight on c3 developed, and it has nice central control. Now from here, I just want to go over some of the main themes in the Smithmore Gambit. We're eventually going to want to bring our bishop to this c4 square, and we're going to want to attack this f7 square. This is a huge weakness for black any time in the opening, and we want to go ahead and attack that as soon as possible. At the same time, we want to bring our knight to f3, and then we want to castle kingside. At the same time, we want to move our queen. A lot of times, we'll move our queen after our bishop our light square bishop comes out and we want to control the c file and the d file with our rooks anytime you have a half open file a semi open file or a full open file the c file is a full open file or a semi open file on the d file you want to control those with your rooks so we'd really like to bring our a rook to the c file bring our h rook to the d file once we castle and get our pieces all developed and from there we're going to have a very aggressive game. The entire game black's going to be behind in development. And so anytime you play a gambit, you're always going to want to be aggressive. So if you're not a very aggressive player by nature, I don't recommend this at all. But if you are a very aggressive player and you don't like playing against the Sicilian and the main Sicilian lines, I highly recommend you give this a try. So I'm going to go over two of the main lines that you may see in the Smith Moore gambit and then I'm going to go over a few other variations that you may see or that you can do if you're feeling very very aggressive and you just want to try out some different stuff so from here you may see the knight to c6 from black simple development move and from here we're gonna bring our knight to f3 and then the pawn is gonna to come to d6 and white's gonna bring his bishop to c4 again remember we want to develop our light square bishop at the same time we want to castle kingside and attack this f7 pawn so from here black's gonna play e6 trying to defend indirectly this pawn on f7 so that we can't attack it with our bishop right away and from here we're going to castle kingside get our rook into the action like eventually to bring it to this d file if we can and black's going to develop his knight to f6 we're going to bring our queen to e2 since our bishop has been developed to c4 and black's going to play his bishop to e7 so that he can castle kingside eventually and we're going to bring our rook to d1 getting ready for the battle from here, black's going to continue up the middle, try to block off some of our path with pawn to e5. And from here, we can, we can do a few things. We can develop our dark square bishop and then bring our rook into the action, or we can start an attack on the black king already. It's really up to you. Anytime you're playing an aggressive opening like the Smithmore Gambit, you can really attack when you start getting your pieces into the mix. So that's one defense you may see. Another defense you may see is called the Chicago defense. The Chicago defense is a defense I've come across quite a few times playing the Smithboard Gambit. And Black first plays pawn to e6, and he does this because he knows we eventually want to bring our bishop to c4. And he wants to right away say that, hey, I'm going to protect this pawn on f7. A lot of times players playing Black will try to wait. But in the Chicago defense, Black right away tries to say, hey, I'm going to protect this by playing pawn to e6. So from here, White can just continue with bishop to c4, still attacking this long diagonal. And from here, Black's going to play a6 with the intentions of bringing his pawn down to b5, attacking our bishop on c4. From here, we're going to continue development of our knight to f3. And Black's going to continue with his plan with pawn to b5, attacking our bishop. We're just going to bring it back to b3. And then 
Black's going to play his pawn to d6, and we're going to castle kingside. And if you look at the Chicago defense, which is very popular in the Smith Moore Gambit, as you can see here, we have three of our minor pieces developed. We have a nice little pawn on e4, and we have castle on the king side. And Black has four of his pawns moved, but he has none of his pieces moved. A lot of times when players play against the Smith Moore Gambit, it's a very passive defense that they try, and it just really doesn't work. There's so many aggressive lines that White has that he can be creative with. I feel it's really hard for Black to always prepare against all the attacks that White has in the Smith Moore Gambit. So that's the Chicago defense. If you're playing the Smith Moore Gambit and you want to play even more aggressive, then you have an additional option. In the Smith Moore Gambit, after d4 and he takes, and he takes again on c3, you can now bring your bishop to c4 right away. And if you played a lot of the Danish Gambit before, it kind of has those same kind of lines that we talked about in the Danish Gambit. But from here, after he takes on b2, then we can take with our bishop on b2. And as you can see here, now we're down two pawns, an additional pawn over the Smithmore Gambit main line, but from here we have a lot of attacking lines. We can bring our queen into the action to support either of these bishops. At the same time, we can castle kingside fairly soon, and we have a lot of attacking lines. Yes, we are down two pawns, but all our bishops are aimed right at the black king, and black's going to have a really hard time trying to defend this. Now, if you play correctly, yes, you are down two pawns, so it's going to be not the easiest game, especially if you're playing someone really good. But at the same time, Black's really going to have to play really well to defend against all your attacks. But at the same time, he does not have to accept the the gambit. So if he plays c5 and then he takes on d4 and then we offer up the extra pawn, he can play one of two things. Sometimes you may see knight to f6. And then from here we can play pawn to e5 attacking. And then if he comes to d4, excuse me, d5, then we can recapture. And that's one of the things you'll see, or another thing you may see, is after we play c3, he may play d3, and then we take back with our queen. And either way, if he does decline in the Smithmore Gambit, he's going to be completely out of his Sicilian defense lines that he's used to playing. So, if you hate playing against the Sicilian defense, or you just want to add another gambit to your repertoire if you're a very aggressive player, I definitely recommend the Smithmore Gambit. I've had a lot of success with it, and I'd definitely like to hear how it works for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.